coming up next on the J. Brown Show. Senator Obama, you have built what his former national security advisor, State Department policy director, and Navy secretary, among others, advising you. With relatively little foreign policy experience of your own, how will you rely on so many Clinton advisors and still deliver the kind of break from the past that you're promising voters? Well, the, uh, you know, I am... I want to hear that. <laughs> well, Hillary, I'm looking forward to you advising me as well. So, uh... <laughs> Who knew? But Hillary Clinton is poised to become the next Secretary of State. But is this change we can believe in? Oh, well, this was this was neat. I, I was uh, happy to get to be invited to participate in this. And, and uh, you know, it, it, for one, you need a little bit of levity in this job, especially with uh, uh, so much that has gone on in the last couple of months that has been so um, political, obviously, that it's nice to get out and, and, and do something to promote a local business and, and to uh, just participate in something that isn't so uh, heavy-handed politics that uh, invites criticism. Criticism. Certainly we'll probably invite criticism for even doing this too, but at least this was fun. And you were right. Congratulations, Governor. You're on track to become the female version of Dan Quayle. And this guy will not go away. Now he's defending Sarah Palin and is trashing the very person who made him famous. Goes to show that there is no honor amongst dinner thieves. Thank you very much. You know, my wife, Carla, would love to meet you. Uh, you know, even though she was a bit jealous that I was supposed to speak to you today. <laughs> <laughs> well, give her a big hug from me. Today's J.O.B. will be a look back at the comedy troupe known as the Republican Party. Plus your emails. T.O. Get your popcorn ready. The J. Rouse Show starts now. <laughs> you never know. That's the point. Boy, who knew? Who knew? Hey, 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 welcome into another edition of the J. Ryle Show. And of course, you can reach the show at the J. Ryle Show at Live.com. The J. Ryle Show at Live.com. My girl, Hillary Clinton, looks like she's going to be the Secretary of State. I said it a long time ago that Barack should make her the Secretary of State. Check my old shows. I think it's a good thing. But before we get into all that, I'd like to say what's up to our two new subscribers, MJH280 and DDYJJOEE. -E. I guess that stands for Daddy Joe. Well, anyway, appreciate you guys being a part of the J. Ross show. And that makes six. We're that much closer in achieving our goal of a million subscribers. Keep it up. We're trucking along. We got to get to a million. That's our goal. <laughs> well, you guys remember on election night, I said to you guys, I said, I got misty. I got misty on two occasions. Occasion number one was the obvious, you know, Barack Obama, the first African-American president. Very emotional time for me, obviously. But then I was emotional because of the concession speech that Senator John McCain gave. Because I said, you know what, this, there's a finality to this thing. You know, because as Americans, we want people to be successful. We really do. And you knew that that was it. That was it for him. He, he's 72 years old. There's no way he was going to be president of the United States. And that was somewhat of a sad moment for me. But then I cheered up because I said, you know what? We are getting rid of Sarah Palin and Joe the Plumber. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong. Not only did we not get rid of him, it just seems to me that she tried, and she, as in Sarah Palin, tried to get on every freaking talk show that th that was out there. Every freaking talk show. And all she did was confirmed what I've already, what I've always thought, and uh, what we saw throughout the primary uh, season, that she does not have a clue of what's going on. The more she talks... Well, I tell you what, the better our chances are in 2012 if she's going to be the person that's going to represent the GOP. Now, let me tell you this. 
I think people are starting to get a little tired of her on the GOP side. Did you see how uh, Texas Governor Rick Perry kind of, you know, pushed her aside at the GOP uh, governor's convention? I mean, think about this. We live in a great country, folks. You know why? Because there are people out there who wants this lady to write her memoirs. And they're willing to pay her $7 million to write her memoirs. $7 million. So once again, a great country. Because this is the only country I know that in two months you can get $300,000 worth of free clothes because I think that when it's all said and done, that price tag will be $300 million. Okay? And you can make $7 million for two and a half months of memoirs. Because I'm not buying that you want to know about Sarah Palin's, ooh, her whole political career. Bull crap. You didn't know who she was until John McCain picked her. And the only, and the only memoirs that she has that would be of any interest would be the two and a half months she spent on the primary, uh, on the campaign trail. Two and a half months. Who gives a damn about what Sarah Palin thought are thunk are dead during those two and a half months but people are willing to pay seven give her a seven million dollar advance are you kidding me because and it goes back to what I've always said it's because she's pretty at least she's not looking as good as I you know she's starting to look like a 44 year old woman to me and I think it's almost time for me to get rid of her as my girlfriend I'm getting close something that I gotta counsel with myself consult with myself about because everyone uh, wants to talk about Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin, Sarah Palin, Sarah Palin. Seven million dollars to write about her memoirs. Because I guarantee you folks that if her name was Sarah Palin and she looked like Janet Reno, there's no damn way you'd be interested. None. Zilch. You, you wouldn't care. Seven million dollars. And she's become a superstar because I'm hearing that uh, the paparazzi got pictures of her around the pool. Now, I, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on those because even though I don't agree with her policy, I'm not blind. You know what I'm yo, saying? Yo, yo, Jay. Yo, man, we got those pictures, dog. Whoa, whoa. We got the pictures? We got the pool pictures of Sarah Palin? Yeah, yeah. We got them. We got them. You, you want them? Duh, uh, yeah. We got them. We got them. Yeah, all right, man. Well, I appreciate that book. Let's get these pictures up, man. I want to see them. No problem. No problem. Alrighty then, uh, thank you, Book. I think. Hmm. Well, Book, he's my uh, producer, my mystery producer. Uh, he's the guy that uh, hangs out with me as I record the show. And Book, I must admit, man, those pictures didn't look too good, dog. I'm, she's starting to look like a 44-year-old woman, which she is. So I guess you know. But it looked as she just looked like a 44-year-old woman chilling by the pool. And if that's the type of stuff that gets your rocks off, then, hey, you were excited. But for me, who's 44, didn't do anything for me. The butt's kind of flat. Mm, I'm not feeling the Alaskan governor right now. And I think it's official. I am going to have to get rid of Sarah Palin. So I'm looking for a new love. And I will take your suggestions. Wow. Didn't look too good. The J. Ross Show at Live.com. And listen, Joe the Plumber, we'll talk about this guy. We'll talk about this guy in the next segment, but he won't go away. And, and I can't say that I blame him. Hey, listen, you have 15 minutes of fame. Take advantage of it because you owe back taxes. And, you know, this time next year, we will not give a damn about you and what you represent. So ride the wave, that homeboy. And the Republicans are wondering how they lost. Well, I tell you what, we're going to show it to you in the third set. Keep it right here to J. Rouse Show Rolls On. 